So in this video, now we will try to see, check one of that Python program that uh, in a given text or string, is that substring is present or not, or one single text is present or not, okay? And then at the end, I will show you one more trick that how we can find different way and different things. So now I will show you, directly I will move to Jupyter Notebook. So now here, suppose if I define that, okay, message text as Python is Um, okay so this one is that text so now i define that text. i need to now find is that is present or not so what i can do i can go ahead and put like this message dot count oh want to put each okay now if I go ahead and execute, so I got one plus is present, okay? So in the same way, I will just copy and paste this one. And now we already know, uh, just let me know what is that output of this one. We are getting zero, but, but if I go ahead and execute like this, okay? We are getting two. So as we know that Python is case sensitive. So since we're trying to search that capital P, it's giving us zero. But when we're trying to search a small P, it's giving us two time P, P is present. Okay. So now if I go ahead and what I can do, I can create one new message. Or if I wanted to count after some specific position. So now what I can do, I wanted to search Suppose is only, but now I wanted to search after 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I wanted to search after 8th position. Okay. I'll go ahead and put that 8. Now we can see we are getting 0 because I am trying to search from here. Okay. In the same way, if I go and try to search for P as well, but from suppose nine or anyhow we are getting that count so we got for two so now if i go ahead and put that five we can see now we are getting one so since it's not a starting from here I start zero account till fourth and then start searching from the fifth position okay so in this way we can count uh is that substring is present there or not or you can count that complete word also just like I've given each, we can do like search of this as well. So if I paste it, okay. And then I will paste these things. Oh no. Okay. So now, I will go to here. I will take like this. Okay, so now we got that one count. Okay. So now one question I will give you here. Suppose now I will try here. Okay, so now I will give here uh, one code that called A, B, C, okay, D, A, B, C, D, okay, and A, B, C, D. Again, I will put P, C, T, okay. But now I just, I will explain you what I wanted to check it out here. Okay, in place of A, B, C, A, B, C, T, and again C, C, D, C. Okay. So this one I will put. So we have this one. And now I wanted to do meter plus dot count of 
I wanted C, D, C. Okay. So we got only one. But if I go ahead, so this one only I just wanted to explain you. If I go ahead and put that, if I put C, D, C, so if you can see, I can C, D, C is one. Okay. And again, D, C, it's dividing like this one. But if I go that word formation, okay. So one will be CDC. Again, from here, if I take CDC will form, right? So in place of one, I wanted to display two. So right now what is doing, it's searching for ones and then not counting that character. So now in place of that, I wanted to make that. I need that answer to be two. So now you can look into this. I will explain this one, how we can do that using regex, you can do it easily. So I will explain how we can get that count of two by creating that all those words formation, how many it can be formed, including and excluding all those things. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you.